A federal judge on Friday issued a long-awaited ruling in Fortnite maker Epic Games' legal battle with Apple over its App Store policies. Both sides are using the 185-page ruling to double down on their own positions, which is possible because the details are complicated. If anything, though, Apple and Google did land small wins, but neither got what it wanted, U.S. District Judge Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers said Apple is breaking the law by forcing people to pay for apps and in-app items through the App Store, where it usually takes a 30% slice of the payment as commission. Gonzalez Rogers told Apple to ease up and let in other payment options, within 90 days. That will please Apple, but it is far from what Epic sought. For Apple, Gonzalez Rogers upheld the App Store's overall structure as legal, a major victory for the tech giant. She also said Apple does not have an illegal monopoly over how developers can process payments for mobile games, which Apple applauded. It's a split decision, said Mark Limley, a Stanford Law School professor who studies antitrust issues and technology. It will improve competition on the edges, but it's not the fundamental change that Epic and advocates of the antitrust case would have hoped for. OK. But what does this mean for people who buy apps for their iPhones and iPads? It means that when you pay for, say, a Spotify subscription on your iPhone, or a cool new outfit for your avatar in the mobile version of Roblox, you could get the option to pay through Spotify or Roblox's own systems. Apple long has banned app developers from offering these alternative payment methods. Gonzalez Rogers ruled that Apple was hiding information from consumers and limiting choice. That's prohibited under California competition laws. So will this make apps and in-app items cheaper? It could.